Well, hello there, my fellow Skars, your favorite Scar here, bringing you another Scar Log. And in today's Scar Log, we'll be playing a little ghost, talking a little bit about some of the things that have been going on and what's coming up in the future. And if you guys want to see more frequently Scar Logs, because it has been quite some time since we last did one, which was in the summer, definitely let me know. So let's get into it. So playing a little ghost. Oh, I know. I heard somebody sigh out there. I know, and I agree. I agree. Not the best Call of Duty, but, you know, I can't record the, on the PS4 yet where I'm playing Battlefield, but until then, we'll enjoy Ghosts as much as we can, and I want to start off by thanking each and every one of my subscribers because we just recently hit 70,000 subscribers, and I... I, from the bottom of my heart, thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my videos and to leave a nice comment. That just means a ton. I thank you very, very much for that. It was only a year ago that we reached uh, 10,000 subscribers. So we've come a long way and hopefully we'll keep chugging along because in the next, you know, month or two, we could get really close to 100,000 subscribers. And that's mind blowing to me. That is absolutely mind blowing. So let's get into it. And December. So December, I've, I've mentioned before it's been a kind of a crazy month where you know being christmas and all and that stuff and um the uh youtube changes have been you know on top of that but one of the big things was a, a very large doctor's appointment that we had and we've been waiting for this appointment for probably about four or five months now and it was with a retinal uh, geneticist and they were going to kind of look at some of these different areas to try to see if they could find you know maybe a diagnosis and as you know, I've been trying to chase a diagnosis throughout my illness that I've talked about in the past for a long time. He's, you know, I've recently thought of it as I'm a mafia boss. So picture Scar, you know, maybe he has a nice leisure suit or uh, some type of uh, sweatsuit on here. And I loan somebody some money and I don't know who it was, but they owe me money and I'm looking for a name and I want my money back. And I guess the money would be, you know, maybe a cure. The name is the name of the diagnosis. I don't know. It's just something weird that went through my mind. But that's kind of what I feel like. And we went there and, you know, they weren't able to give the name and they were able to kind of, you know, maybe they gave me directions to maybe a name. So a genetic um, mitochondrial disease is the best guess at the moment. And so what that is, is the something's, effect, and something's affecting the mitochondrial, which is in all your cells, but your red blood cells. So that's affecting muscles, uh, breathing and walking and different things like that. And, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good guess. And from here, we go to another set of doctors if we so choose. Because do I really want to go through another battery of tests? A lot of cases, these tests make me worse. My condition gets worse. I mean, there's only so many times you can have an EMG where they stick needles into your muscles and that hurts and you don't like that. And you know, that's so that's like something I'll have to kind of weigh as the time goes on in the next year. Do I want to go through a lot of these tests? If I find said name, is there going to be, is my money still going to be there? You know, is there going to be a cure or something along those lines? And I don't know. And the best thing I could do now is to just manage the symptoms and kind of keep positive. You know, there were some positive things that came out of it. My eye itself's not like dying, you know, it's dysfunctional. Its muscles are incredibly weak and it doesn't accept light 100% normally, but at least the cells aren't dying out so I'll be able to see. I mean, that's that's something positive and you got to always look for something positive in this and you know, that's what I kind of took from it. There were a few really kind of cool tests they did. There was one that they took technology from the Hubble Space Telescope and they implemented it into this camera. And what the camera does is it shoots infrared light into your eyes and then it bounces back onto the mirrors and they do all sorts of, you know, technical things. And what it does is it, you can see the light receptors in the retina. And the Hubble does the same thing with stars out there. And they were able to take that technology and implement it into that. And it was really cool. You could see these little white dots all around. And they even were kind of like almost like form like galaxies in there. And it was absolutely amazing. And, um, you know, you could kind of see the health of the light receptors and different things like that. But it was like a Hubble picture. And it was absolutely incredible. It's why I always love space travel because, you know, a lot of people put it down for this or that. But we learned a ton of stuff from it. And we can implement that into many different fields and especially medical and that's why i love i love i love space travel and not all that stuff and it's, it's pretty cool so that's kind of what they did there and we didn't get a ton of answers but you know 
we've learned a few things and we kind of go from there so for the future so the future of the channel for the next year we're hoping to you know continue to do what we're doing but um continue to improve and add new content and we're going to continue to make minecraft videos and trying to find the perfect series that will come after the modern house so i've talked a little bit about in the past you know maybe maybe a house for each pacific biome or i've talked also about building maybe an extreme new uh, extreme what is it extreme new worlds amplified terrain that's it amplified terrain worlds maybe make like little villages on the sides of the cliff we talked about that a while ago so something like that so i'm thinking about adding something like that but um, I also want to hear from you guys. So I need to find things that you guys enjoy. So for the for the future, so once the new year starts, what types of other things would you guys like to see from the channel? I assume maybe something Minecraft related or something else. So any other games that we can add upon, things that we already do, like Super Awesome Minecraft and Skyline, where we're going to build a roller coaster and different things this year. But adding upon that for our creative series or something along those lines. So definitely let me know. I take a lot of inspiration from what you guys say and your comments. So definitely let me know because your comments and your perspective are very important to me. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And I want to also wish you a very Merry Christmas. And we'll see you later.